All right, Elmer. Elmer, uh, where'd you grow up? Where, where are you from originally? Right here in Eastern Kentucky. This is Leslie County? Leslie County, yep. Tell me about your childhood. You had uh, both your parents when you were Yeah, here? yeah. How was your childhood? How there was childhood? nine of us. Nine of you? Yeah. I'm the baby in the family. You're the, you're the youngest? Youngest one, yeah. How would you describe your childhood? It rolled up pretty rough right there. It's just hard living. Raised on cornbread and soup beans, taters, garden. Raised, grow a big garden every year. Hogs. You guys had electricity and running water? Oh, no, we're not for a long time. Yeah. How far did you go in school? Uh, I went through the ninth grade. Ninth grade. Yeah. What did you do for work after you finished school? Well, I worked, uh, drove a truck about all my life. Hauled coal, logs. Um, been into logging for the last 10, 15 years. Yeah. Appalachia is a tough region to, to survive in, right? Rough. What's Gotta work. And, and finding work is a hard thing now. Yeah. Coal you mines have shut you down. You didn't mostly. work, you didn't eat. My grandma always said, she said, if you're going to eat supper with me, you got to work. If you won't feed nobody, it don't work. But, uh, so you, you've had, uh, you've been married, had kids? Yeah. How many yeah, I've kids? got two, a boy and a girl. And you raised them? Yeah. Yeah, my wife, she passed on. I'm sorry. So your kids stayed here in the... Yes, for I raised them out right here. It's so and, home. And place. they still live in Leslie County? Yeah. Why do people choose to stay here, even though there's very few opportunities and just, such a tough life? This mountain gets to you after a while. You just don't feel at home nowhere else. You go somewhere else and it just doesn't feel it, right. Yeah. Yeah, there's something about this region that's very special. It's home, you know. Yeah. The drugs have kind of taken over this region. Oh, pretty much took over, yeah. Why, why do you think that's happened? Pardon me? Why do you think that's happened? Don't know. Don't know. It's, it's bad, though. Sure is. Yeah. Bad, bad situation. You've got involved in that as well? Huh? Have you got involved in drugs at all? No. Never? No. Good for you. What do you think the future is of this region? Because, uh, you know, technology marches on in the rest of the country, but this part of the country is kind of being left behind. Yeah. I, I live on, you can't starve these people to death. They know how to raise gardens and kill hogs. Uh, eight squirrels. Uh. What do you live on now? I mean, what, what's your income? I just, uh, disability. Disability? Yeah. And how much do you live on a year? I, I get so much a month. What do you get a month, roughly? Mm, about 1100 a month. Yeah. I'm on total disability. And that's enough to live on? Yeah. Well, I make do with it, what garden I grow. Stuff I put away, do a lot of canning. Mm -hmm. Can a lot of food. Yeah, but are you happy here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ain't no place like home. Yeah, and you're yeah. not looking to leave? No, no. Yeah. I like to go on vacation sometimes. Go down to Florida. How far, how far have you traveled? I usually go to Florida sometimes. About once a year, I take a vacation, and sometimes Myrtle Beach. Yeah. Since this COVID nineteen come out, I ain't went nowhere. I stayed pretty much at the house. Yeah. Do you have any regrets in your life? Do you look back and say you wish you had done this or wish you had done that? No, no. Yeah, you're happy with, with I'm, your I'm life. I'm happy with, yeah. What are the best and worst things about living in Appalachia? Uh, it's, it's, I guess, mm, I don't know. I don't say much bad things myself. I, I kind of look, you know, got a point of view of looking at the good side. Mm -hmm. I'm well happy here. You know, it's real living. It's a very simple life, though. Yeah, you gotta get real with it. Yeah. You raise your own food. Right, raise a lot of garden food, yeah. Hogs. How, how old are you? Chickens, 55. 55. What's the most important lesson you've learned in your life? Hmm. Trusting God. You're a religious man? No, but I believe in God. You don't go to church? No, I did, but 
I'm kind of backslid. So how do you spend your days typically? What do you what do you do? But I just work around the house and piddle about, you know. Do a lot of yard work, work here, try and get set up, my trailer set up and everything. Right. And what, what do your kids do? Yeah, my boy's a logger, he logs. Mm -hmm. And my daughter, she, uh, I think she uh, works at a nursing home. And got good kids, ain't on drugs, thank God. That's great. You know, that mess and fed him, he just took over his place. It has. Yeah, it's got, the, it's the, ruined all the young people. Well, not all of them, but a lot of them. Yeah, but it was the, it was the pain pills and then the, well, the crystal meth, right? The meth, that nasty meth they'll make it. It's, it's about to do them all in. Yeah. Sure it almost seems like the, almost the entire community is it's affected bad. by it. It's bad. Yeah. It's, it's rare to find someone who isn't. Yeah. What opportunities are there for a person staying, choosing to stay here? Cold mines are log woods or, or like Walmart or somewhere like that working. They ain't, they ain't much. If you get education, you have to leave them here. Yeah. You know. You and, to, and to get a real job, you have to leave here. Right. Too. But you feel like you, you've lived the life you wanted. I, yeah. I'd like to go with the Lord a lot sooner, you know. Pretty wild in my childhood days. Yeah, what kind of stuff did you get into? I smoked pot and drunk a lot. Yeah. The drink and I quit. I still smoke a little pot alone. I consider it as a herb, not a, not a drug. Right. And it's it, it's illegal here. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they ain't legalized it like they have up in California. Like. Right. Yeah. For us, it's like <laughs> don't they don't take it so seriously. Yeah. It's a good it's a good pain medicine. But you live in this trailer behind you. Yeah. You have electricity now? Yeah. You have running water? Yeah. You do? Yeah. I run it out of the holler up there. It's got a waterfalls up there it comes off of. So you tap into that? Yeah. Yeah. And can't drink it, but I can bath in it and wash my clothes and dishes. Right. And you have friends? Huh? You have friends? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I got friends. Not many, but a few. No. Yeah. You don't need a lot? I stay, up, stay a lot to myself. Uh, by myself first. I've got a wife, but she lives in another home, and I live here. I understand. And uh, do you hunt? Yeah. What kind, what kind of animals do you hunt for? Um, deer, squirrel, rabbit, snakes. Do you have bear here? Yeah. One comes in here every night. Really? Yeah. Got one coming out, a big bear. He's whooped my bulldog two or three times. Wow. He tore him up pretty bad last time. Cut him up. But now he'll, he'll get after it. So living up here all by yourself, Elmer, uh, is there anything that you do to protect yourself? No, well, I've got a pistol I pack with me. Oh, is that uh, right? Yeah, I keep it for the bears. The bears is bad to come in on me out there the night. How and close, how close do the bears get to you? Oh, they've come and stuck their head through the door at me. And they, they come into your trailer? Yeah, I left the, the door open one night, and this one come and stuck its head through the, through the door, looked at me. And that's so where the gun did. comes in handy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I got a pistol. I got a rifle. And I keep it for snakes. And, and people that's mean to me, try to be mean to me, I ain't able to fight them. So I'd have to shoot them. It's just, you know, rough living here in the mountains. You've got to, got to protect yourself. Snakes is bad. The bears is bad. Some big cats running around here. And uh, some mean people running around here. <laughs> but it's, they don't bother me. Any. I guess where I got a gun, they, they know better. They don't mess uh, with you? No, they don't mess with me. I don't mess with nobody, neither. My grandpa, he was a he was a doctor, a lawyer, undertaker, and uh, he'd take in the sick people, and he'd take and uh, nurse them to health. And if they died, he would take and uh, build their coffin and preach their funeral and bury them. Uh, he really? did have some slaves. 
back in his day and time. He had slaves? Yeah. And my grandma right there, she raised kids out there and stuff, and when she'd breastfeed them, them panthers would come and try to claw in on her. And they'd stick her piles through the door, she'd chop their piles off for the, for the hatchet. And, uh, These are your grandparents? Yeah, you know, they, they, they had it rough back then. But the slaves, they grew corn, feed the animals with. They had mules, oxes. Uh, my grandpa was a rapid old dude, buddy. Sure. So he was a doctor? A lawyer. Lawyer? Undertaker and a preacher. Wow. He done a little bit of all that. And up there where he lived, there was a big log house. And uh, he buried all of them out in the bottom out there, all them people that would die. He'd bury them. They've graves that ain't never been marked, I'd say. 50, 60 graves up there, it ain't never been marked. But uh, he is a go-getter, that old man was. Jake Napper was his name. And uh, he just, you know, he was out there, he'd whoop you. When I was a kid out there, if you killed a piss hand on his porch, you was whooped. He called them little people. He didn't believe in killing nothing unless you was gonna eat it. And that pretty much covered that. All right, Elmer. Well, thank you so much for talking with me. Yes, sir. Good luck with everything and the, and the bears, too. Oh, yeah. All right. Thank yeah, you. I'll time the bears. <laughs> <laughs>